Up off the left wing, it bounces right off. Okay? I don't, I, I don't want this to, to, to feel like I'm attacking anybody. I'm not. I'm just telling you the truth. I'm, I'm, I'm stating my case. This is my view right here. This is my view. I love God. And I'm going to follow His Word. Amen. Okay? That's my view. Everything else I've said up here today is His view. Let's go to the next scripture. Matthew chapter 25, verse 35 and 36 on page 756. Seven, what? I think it's 756, but we'll see here in just a second. It's, it's 56. Matthew 25. Matthew 25, verse 35 and 36. For I was hungry, and you fed me. I was thirsty, and you gave me a drink. I was a stranger, and you invited me into your home. I was naked, and you gave me clothing. I was sick, and you cared for me. I was in prison, and you visited me. Ladies and gentlemen, anyone... What? Anybody that comes into this church. Anybody. No matter what that says up there. I know it's in my heart right now. Anybody that comes through this door is going to be treated just like that. We don't care your denomination. We don't care your nationality. We don't care your sin. When you walk through these doors, you become family and we're going to love on you and you're going to hear the truth. Now, if you can't come back and face the truth, you need to, you need to hit your knees. You need to repent. You need to turn from your sin and come back and try it again. But when you come through these doors, you're going to get treated with love and respect. That's the way this church has always been. Before I started coming to it, and all the way to now. It's always been loving. Maybe, maybe love doesn't come through the video camera onto YouTube. I don't know. <laughs> I laughed at that comment. There's no love in my sermons. Everything God said is love. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know how you're looking at it at your church. We love you enough to tell the truth. Love me enough to tell me the truth. Okay? All right. Turn with me to uh, page 914, Titus. We're almost done. We're almost done. No, that's not right. 917. Well, we're having all kinds of trouble, Troy. Yeah, I'm what happens when I wait to the last minute to do stuff? I messed up on the last one. It was my fault. Chapter 2, verse 7 through 8. And you yourself must be an example to them by doing good works of every kind. Let everything you do reflect the integrity and seriousness of your teaching. Teach the truth so that your teaching can be criticized. Then those who oppose us will be ashamed and have nothing bad to say about us. You know, that says it all right there, okay? Any criticism that comes the church's way, we've got God's Word to stand on. We can rebuke anything, anytime, anywhere. You name the time, you name the place, we'll be there with Bible in hand. There are some people in this world that are going to get their feelings hurt. No matter what. No matter what. Okay? Whether that's out of their own sinful desires, or whether that's just them being hard-headed, too sensitive, whatever the case may be. And if, if for some reason they walk through these doors, and we don't give them the love they need to love them out of their sin, to love them enough to tell them the truth, to love them enough to show them the way, to hand them one of these Bibles and say this, I love you this much. This is what you need in your life. They came here, okay? We've got to love them. But where we failed, is we're not seeking the lost. And I know that's another sermon, another time, another discussion, but it bothers me. It bothers me that I got that text message and, and, and I didn't hesitate in replying. I knew the answer was no. I knew the answer was no. 
Maybe I'm not shepherding the best I can shepherd. I don't know, but we'll find out. We're going to change something. God's going to put something on my heart and we're going to start seeking the lost. Okay? I know I've said that up here before and it hadn't worked out. It's not my plan. It's not my plan. God's lining something up big. And when He's ready for us to go, we're going to go. Okay? Last scripture. Luke chapter 17, verse 1 through 4. Page 799. I know there was another announcement that popped in my head a while ago, but I forgot it already. So, One day Jesus said to His disciples, There will always be temptation to sin, but what sorrow awaits the person who does the tempting? Do not cause someone else to stumble. Do not cause someone else to believe that their sin is okay. Do not cause someone else to... to to continue living their life in damnation. And God forbid you lead someone there. And if you're telling them it's okay, then that's exactly what you're doing. You're leading the train. You're driving the bus. Whatever you want to call it. I can't stand here and tell you that I'm perfect. Because I've got 47 years of experience with myself and I am not perfect. Okay? But there are some things that I am very confident about. God's Word is one of those things. So when you come to this church, or anywhere that I may be, and you ask me something about God's Word, I am going to tell you the truth. It is not my view. I am not going to give you my view on the Bible. I agree with God's views, which are the Bible. Plain and simple. And I love each and every person that comes to this church. I've told you that many times. I stand there in the morning. I stand there in the evening. I'm going to love on somebody when they come through the door or leave the door. What a one way to love. Okay? I love each and every one of you. I'm so glad you were here today. I apologize if this sounded like a rant in any way, but I promise you it was not. I just needed people to know what the church is not for. And the church is not for making you feel comfortable. Okay? Band, y'all come on. <laughs> let me pray this out right quick. Don't uh, let me. You know what? Uh, Philip, can you come up and, and bless the food? You want to get the kids, Dan? Uh, let me pray this out right quick, and then Philip will, will bless the food. Don't forget we have potluck today. Uh, here's the other announcement. Y'all notice over here in this grassy field, we got some st uh, strings and stuff up. Uh, that is going to be overflow parking. But what I need is a group of men and women that want to stand in that parking lot from 8.30 to about 9.45 helping people in the parking lot. Okay, we had... If, if we were a business, we'd be doing great because we're creating problems. The problem that we have is we had some people turn away from here a couple weekends ago because they didn't have anywhere to park. So we're going to open up that field when the weather's good. We're going to open up that field, but we need people in the parking lot to help usher them into the right parking area. Okay? The other part of that is, is if you have a horse and you want to be a mounted greeter in the mornings on Sundays, we want to, we want to talk to you. Okay? We want to talk to you. We had a couple out there this morning, but we don't want it to be the same people every Sunday. We want a nice little rotation of people standing out there on their, sitting on their horse waving at people. Come on in. Come on in. Just one more way we're going to show you some love. Okay? So if you're interested in that, uh, we'll be calling for a meeting next Sunday. We're not going to do it today because it's potluck. But next Sunday, be praying about it. If you want to be a parking lot attendant or a mounted greeter, please come see us. We'll, we'll make another announcement next weekend. All right, let's pray. Most gracious Heavenly Father. We humbly come before your throne today, Father, and we ask you to continue. We ask you to continue, Father, to step on our toes. Father, we don't ever, 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 ever want to cause someone to stumble. Father, we just always want to be about the truth. We want to be about your love, but we want people to respect and fear you at the same time. Remind them that hell is hot, Father, that sin is sin is sin and it's wrong. And to continue to live in sin as a result, you will be in damnation, Father. Father, we just pray today that people, people who are lost, that we can get out and we can find them, Father. We can seek those folks. We can, 
We can bring them to know your word, whether it's here at their house, wherever it needs to be, Father. We just we want we want Saltgrass Cowboy Church to seek the lost. Bring them to know you, Father. Bring them to see your face. Let them know the many blessings that you have in store for them. Father, we love you and we praise you so much. We just call on the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we just ask for you to heal this land. We're trying to get people back on their knees, back to, their, to your word, Father, so that they can all be humbled. They can all be humbled, Father. And this is a step today. Humbling people who don't know that they need to be humbled. That think that their sin is okay, Father. Father, we just pray that these people can open their eyes and their hearts today and they can just ask that one question. Just ask somebody why and let us open the Bible and start that conversation. We love you. We praise you. We thank you so much for your son. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right, y'all. Y'all happy trailer. Come on, youth. Come on, Come on, Come on. 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 Come it's not how you act, it's how you feel. It's how you feel. Yo, Phil, go ahead and bless the blues real quick. Want to have a truck? Hey, Phil, you got Phil, you want to go ahead and bless the food before they do the song, please? Hi, everybody, let's pray. Oh, we thank the word of God for the family laid for us. We know this is true. We know that everything you say is in the Bible and it's for our hearts and our communities every day. Father, we thank the hands prepared the food for us today. God bless the food for us to nourish our bodies and further follow you. Father, we thank for all those out there that are lost. That we need to go out there and help find them and bring them into this church to hear the truth about your word. Father, we thank for the responders out there that give us the freedom to be able to come to church and pray with you each and every day of our lives. Father, we thank you, Son, that died on the cross for us. We ask all this in his name. Amen. Amen.